Nam. The other Nam. The country with the second lowest population density on Earth. Where you can find the Big Five, the oldest desert, and seals. Lots of them. Desolate stretches of road and the nicest people. Namibia. Let's explore it together. What's up guys, it's Ronan again, and today I'm going to be exploring the Skeleton Coast. So here we are on the Skeleton Coast, and let me show you how desolate it is. Nothing there. And nothing there. And you can just hear the waves crashing. For miles and miles, no one. Before we get started with this video, I would like to thank our subscribers old and new for being a part of our adventures. If this is your first time watching our channel, I would like to thank you for joining us and hope that you will consider subscribing. So the Skeleton Coast is a coastline along Namibia, which is known for having many shipwrecks. The problem was that the survivors of the shipwreck would get onto land and then realize that it is completely deserted and there's basically no water or food. So that has many sailors have died after surviving the shipwreck. And just walking around, you find some pieces of skeletons. Like that's probably part of a seal, I think and parts of ships, like this, just sitting here. You can also see that the waves are huge, and it might have been a problem that the ships, the sailors would not see, they would think that this is water maybe, during the dark or in fog, because it's basically the same level, and that might be a reason why they would crash into these beaches, and they might have thought that the, the mountains down there were the coastline. It's called the Skeleton Coast for a reason. So the first shipwreck that we're looking for is the Zila. It is only 15 kilometers south of Henty's Bay and is very close to Highway C-34. Wow, just look at that. It's actually surprisingly new. And the name of this ship is the Zeal. And the waves are pretty loud. Wow. So the MFV Zila was a South African fishing boat that was sold to an Indian company for scrapping. It came loose from the tow line and wrecked not long after it left Wolves Bay on the 25th of August 2008. It was very cool to see that the ship was intact, it was very close to the shore, and it seems that there was a lot of birds that were there, and they might even be living on it. It was really cool to see all the birds though.
think that's a hyena. Now we're driving north to look at the wreck of the Winston. This was the only time we had rain during the entire trip and it only lasted a few minutes. If you follow our Instagram, you can see a picture of me in the rain. So here is a, a pretty big piece of a, of a ship that has wrecked here in the Skeleton Coast. You can see, oh my god, I just, uh, you can see there's rope, wood, metal, the metal is obviously rusted, very, very rusty. We think this is part of the wreck of the Winston. So here's the next piece. So I just found a, I just found a door to a little cabinet. The Winston. It's pretty cool. And it still has screws in it. The Winston was a South African fishing boat that was built in 1961. It was only nine years old when it ran aground in October of 1970. All of the crew was able to fight their way to shore on rubber rafts. Luckily, the captain was able to radio a distress call before they left the ship. So the next day they were rescued, the captain ended up losing his license for five years for running aground, and a crew member that was supposed to be on lookout was fined 500 South African rands. So I'm walking up to the next shipwreck. It is not as close to the beach as the other ones. And you could see out there, it's a, it's a massive ship. You can just hear the waves crashing. So the story is that the government wanted to blow up the ship to get the scrap metal, steel, and they tried it and it didn't really work because they didn't cut it into sections. So they just left it here and there's just a big ship right here. And the people along the coast, like the locals, were saying it's stupid to blow it up because adventure, adventurers like exploring these things like I do. And as you can see, it's here today. So apparently the name of it is Fukuseki Maru number seven. We just reviewed the drone footage and it shows that. So we do know the name now. So when I was walking back from exploring the Fukuseki Maru, I actually saw a black back jackal and it was running across the coast looking for scraps like possibly dead seals. And I just saw it walking around. I took the chance to get the camera and I got a really cool picture with the jackal and the shipwreck in the background. I hope you like it. The Fuguseki Maru was a Japanese tuna fishing vessel that went aground on March 22nd, 2018. The vessel was on its way to Walvis Bay from Angolan waters. The cool thing is, when they were salvaging the ship, they only took off 11 people of the crew of 24 people because the other 
people helped salvage and they actually could stay on the ship longer while it was aground because some of the stuff actually did work and they were able to basically live there while they were still salvaging the ship. This is going to wrap up the video for you guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you are visiting Namibia, I highly recommend that you should explore the Skeleton Coast. The Skeleton Coast National Park has many shipwrecks, but the ones that we've explored today are just on the shore, not at the National Park, just on the next to the road, basically. Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe so you can join us on our next adventure, and goodbye.